everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. Now as always if you don't want to watch the entire video you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps that are in the description below. This week we only have further information about uh, Solomon Kane, Reichbusters Project Vril, Super Fantasy Brawl, and Darkest Dungeon the board game. So let's get to it. For Solomon Kane today, if you participated in pre-ordering Solomon Kane this weekend, if you had multiple orders because of the timed release of the main game, then the expansion, we will be doing credits for you automatically for the second shipping charge. And this refund will be on the shipping charge of the order with the right hand of doom and or the art book in it. For our North American Solomon Kane eShop customers, we forgot to inform you that this will be coming from our EU hub, Meeple Logistics. Because of this, there will be a customs charge when you receive the package. Please send us a copy of the receipt of that customs charge and we'll reimburse you for it. This is only happening because we stated that we were US friendly when at this moment in time we aren't because we don't currently have the inventory left over at the US hub. So send us those receipts when you get them and we'll make sure we reimburse you for those custom charges. This week for Reichbusters, we wanted to address a couple of questions concerning the errata pack that has recently started showing up on your respective doorsteps. The two main questions that I've encountered are, one, the punch board in the errata pack doesn't seem to replace everything it's supposed to have fixed, and two, did the name for Experiment 601 change to Experiment 6XX, or is it a typo? So first of all, let's talk about the punch boards. The cargo hold, which came with three French punch boards and one English punch board in it, should have only had one French and one English punch board. So this was kind of a double mistake on our part originally. The French backers are the ones that have an abundance of tokens that they don't really need. The English backers actually have the correct number of components, which should be 24 weapon counters and 12 skill tokens. The errata pack punch board contains 21 purchasable skills that were already present in the base box. We decided to do this so that players now have two of each skill, thus having more choices in how their heroes evolve within the campaign mode. We also revisited the punch boards and eliminated duplicate copies of things that were unnecessary for the game. So everything is as it should be for the content that the errata pack was supposed to cover. Concerning Experiment 601, that is still its name and unfortunately, yes, Experiment 6XX is a typo and we are of course apologetic for its existence. The production team member that I've been talking to said that it must have simply been a file conversion problem of some sort and that the names haven't been changed. But since this is a typo that doesn't affect gameplay, we won't be sending any more replacements out. So please consider Experiment 6XX to be 601 for all game purposes. And of course, we'll make sure to include it in the FAQ file as well and make it available on our website for download. I was thinking though that Maybe we should just call it Experiment 626 and then hope for a crossover with Disney at some point. It could happen, right? Just a short update for Super Fantasy Brawl today. Original backers of the French version who have yet to receive their Force of Nature replacement cards, please contact us using the customer support email address on the screen now. These replacements were mailed through the post office and all original backers should have received it by now. eShop customers, however, will be getting theirs shipped to them soon through their respective hubs. Today for Darkest Dungeon, we'd like to discuss the closure of the Pledge Manager, as you might have seen it announced on our Facebook group that it will be closed on May 31st. We want to clarify that this will not be the case. The reason why we made this announcement is a bit unintuitive, being that the pledge manager is actually performing extremely well. Normally, this would be an indication to leave it open longer, but it was a cause for concern due to the lack of raw material currently in China. 
For the past several months, we've been having trouble ensuring that we will have the raw material we need at a normal price for the games we want to print. Therefore, we decided to announce the closure of the Pledge Manager because we wanted to make sure that we will be able to print everything and not have a shortage of material. However, we recently came to a deal with our factory and we managed to pre-purchase a satisfying amount of raw material, which allows us to revisit this decision. Therefore, the pledge manager will not close on May 31st. Now, we don't have an exact date as to when it will close, but it will be when we are closer to production. We understand that this might raise more questions with regards to the development phase, but with today's data, we can safely say that we will be moving to external playtesting for the core game towards the end of May or early June. In the meantime, we are internally playtesting the additional modes and expansions and creating the files we will soon be passing on to the graphic designers. So there's a lot of fine tuning going on here and there, but everything is falling into place. And of course, we'll keep you posted on the closure date of the Pledge Manager in the coming months. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what he might spoil. But that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games while you're at it. We'll see you on the flip side. And by the way, happy May the 4th, everyone. May the 4th be with you. Take care.